Hello everyone, this is me again, Slay99, aka No Brainer. Welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. This time I'm up against Starscream running himself a Jabba Uncar deck. And I am playing a Baze deck of my own here. Baze Layer. I've seen a lot of people playing Baze with Snap and going, you know, this is great. But I can't help but think that maybe Leia is also a suitable candidate to run with Baze. You have one less dice, that's true, but you have a much higher chance of... Um, let me just actually just... Uh, I've kept him waiting a little bit here. Let me just discard this one. I'll keep this one. I'll, I don't want the hit and run immediately. That'll be more, much more useful later on in the game. Wingman, that is what I really want. Wasn't mulliganing it for it, but you know, that's what I really want. And I got a five, okay. And my opponent's got a five, okay. So, I got a five, my opponent got a four. All right then, uh, am I gonna be able to roll off before him? Yes, so I'm taking the moisture farm. Uh, I say yes because of wingman. Now, a lot of people, um, when they see, uh, when they when they play Baze, they play him with. Uh, um, I'm gonna put more upgrades on Leia than Baze, so it makes more sense to have Wingman on Baze. When people play, okay, uh, I'll start. I think immediately with the. Well, I can go with the promotion, try and get a logistics, but I think I'll just start with the overkill immediately. Use up both my resources, so of course I can't pay necessarily for all these damage size, but... Anyway, so Snap has one less die. And wow. I think he's got that Jabber ability. Two discard, okay. Well, he can he can uncar me here. But I can activate both my characters here. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so Snap has the ability, of course. Which makes it very easy for you to win the battlefield. Two, that's six damage right there. I'll take it. Gladly take that. Electroshock in the two. Okay. Cost in the one. Uh, I think I will discard my three cost so that he can't uh, job uncar it and reroll this dice. And I got a blank again. Okay. Well, I just gave him a chance to actually do a second uh, Electroshock, because that might not have been the best choice, and he gets rid of my other two cards. Sure, Promotion Logistics. And I will do my four into... Uh, uh, Jabra will do more milling to me, but Unkar is also just very scary on his own with his ability, but let's throw it into Jabra. Uh, I don't know why I've got a magnet. Get rid of that. And he has all of the resources in the world at this point. I'll take the most farm, get a resource of my own. He's going to be able to potentially crime lord me fairly soon, which is uh, definitely a worry here. Especially with Ace in the Hole. I don't have much removal in this deck. I, I have Rebel Assault. Which will be able to hit it, but that's mostly it. And instead, he prized possessions of A's dice. Okay. That's now. Well, now, now I know who who to go for. I didn't really commit to Java so much, so I can go for this. Of course, this trap is not going to be very useful here, but uh, the rearm can get me an IQA uh, quite handily. Uh, but then I don't get to play the planetary uprising. Hmm. But I get an IQA. And that's probably worth not getting the Planetary Uprising at the end of the day. Two damage is two damage, but he can put that wherever he wants, and I really want to just focus down Uncar, so yeah, I will uh, rearm. She'll get me my IQA for two, and I will put it on phase specifically because. If I put it on Leia, then Leia is the perfect, um, is the perfect uh, crime lord target. But, and he rolled two plus twos. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can put my last resource in a promotion here uh, onto the Leia, which I will do. Boop. So yeah. 
uh, and that gets me another rearm, which I can do another promotion with. That's cool. Alright, plus personal shield on Java, but of course the shield's parts of the personal shield can be moved, the, uh, the, the icons. But I will do my other rearm at this point, which I just drew into, for another promotion, which I will put on Bayes. And it'll allow me to draw a card. Yay, hit and run. Okay, that's interesting. Don't think I'll use it this turn, unless he rolls a ton of this, of, uh, he doesn't, okay. And he's going to keep everything. Alright. So yeah, I'm just going to roll out here. He has no resources as well, so there's no real reason to hit and run. Because he spent his resources on the prized possession, which hopefully will only stop me using the base's dice once or twice, and then it will never pay for itself. Resource, 2 damage, shield, 1 damage. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty bad roll right there. Not gonna lie, that's pretty goddamn awful. And he's gonna, he doesn't like you. Okay. Yeah, remove his one shield side. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna discover Planet Uprising right now. I know it can get me a lot of damage, but it's not good enough for me. And this plus one, not good enough for me. And I'm still not rolling damage. Okay. That's annoying. I lost the hit and run right there. I still have the it's a trap if I want to just go full resources this turn. Although what would be the point in that? I can go to full focus, uh, which will and focus these two, which will allow me to go for th plus three, plus six, which will allow me to go for seven damage. Uh, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. What's the chance that is another he doesn't like you in his hand though? Because that is a bit risky. But I I think this is. Well, actually I don't have the resource for it anyway, so that's uh, not necessarily a great idea. You can keep the Issa Trap. Do I want to keep the Issa Trap? I think I'll just toss it for the reroll at this point. Look, I, I can get some good I can get some good rolls, guys. Trust me. Not not that uh, not that time I can't, but I can in general get some good rolls. Focus the resource side again. I will focus, and I will focus to the great player on the removal, I think. I'll take three more resources, and he'll actually be able to claim in front of me this time. And I did a very small amount of damage to him, and now I'm splitting my damage. This is a problem. But uh, Blackmail comes into play. Okay, well, I will take the battlefield then. But he is, he's doing some good milling here. I'm I'm down to just just a bit bit of cards. Uh, there's my double rebel assault. That's awesome. And because I did keep the battlefield, I am going to be able to go first on this next turn. And I could overwrite a promotion with a rocket launcher here, uh, which would give me the one resource needed to roll in the rocket launcher. But then I can't pay the resource for the black market, uh, the blackmail, should I say? So I'm gonna. I think I just, do I just play the blaster pistol, or do I actually roll in to get the rebel assaults out? I think I just play the blaster pistol right now. I think I'm going to go and play a bit greedy here, just try and max out the damage I can. And, uh, okay, friends in other places, he'll be able to discard one of my three events here. It's probably going to take one of the rebel assaults. That's, that's what I figured. And then I'm going to be able to roll in a layer and base. Here we go. Four dice and three dice, which makes seven dice. And I got no, no, no damages. Sides join. Well, that's that's a bit annoying. Just a little bit. Well, I guess I could take a resource here with the logistics, but at this point I have more than enough resources, so I'm just going to ditch that and I'm just going to try for focus sides and damage sides. There's a focus, there's a 2 damage, so I can activate my 7 damage there. We should put Uncard to 1. Uh, 
and uh, okay he's gonna yeah now I'm gonna pay to give him that because otherwise he can focus it to the met to the uh, disrupt side and there we go and then there we go um If I use layer to focus to a one damage there, um, then I can activate those to kill the Unkar. But and then use this dice on job, but the one shield from the personal shield prevents that. So yeah, let's let's just do uh, Well actually let's focus first. Well my opponent surely would have had uh, removal for the two range damage right now, surely. So let's focus to the one ranged. Force him to at least use the shield side on uh, defending Unkar. And then I could, if he does that, I might be able to switch targets. That would be enough to kill Jabba uh, after the personal shield effect goes off. So I can kill either of these guys right now, but I am going to kill the Unkar. Yeah. Good, good damage dealt. Nice. Alright, so anyway, as I was really wanting to talk about... Jeez, talk about getting off track because I'm too busy playing the game. So, Snap has 8 health, Leia has 11 health. Did you just focus on resolving one turn? <laughs> this, this, the same as. <laughs> All right, now you take the resource, and now I claim. There we go. Alright, this is looking good for me. I should do a lot of damage here. Here comes the Crime Lord, though. I have absolutely no way of dealing with this, and he knows it, and he doesn't get it. But then he can focus it, and then he will get it. Which one does he kill? Does he kill the base, who is worth so much more, or the layer who has all the upgrades? He kills off the base, who is worth so much more. Which makes complete and total sense, really. I honestly, who didn't see that coming? But now I need to be careful that I don't get a Crime Lord a second time. That would be annoying to, to have that happen. But I can discard some of this stuff, some of this other better stuff here. So let's discard this promotion for a rocket launcher. For a rocket launcher. There we go, there the dice spawns. Alright, so anyway, getting back on track. Right. Okay, so you've got one dice against two. Sure, that feels bad that you're only rolling one dice. But, she, but Snap only has a one range side. And he has a one in six twice. Whereas Leia has a half a chance in one dice. So for that reason. Um, and now I have one turn. He has the disrupt, unfortunately. Uh, so I could play the whole outlaster right now, but uh, I don't think that's worth it. I think I just want to save for rerolls here. I want to just try and get non-resource sides, which is going to be very difficult with these, with this set of dice, actually. Hey look, all of the non-resource sides I was talking about. <laughs> At least to force him to resolve the disrupt. Then I can discard with pleasure to re-roll these three. Well, plus three there, but uh, if he has something to deal with that too, that's a problem. Yep, he can unpredictable it. To a blank. And now he has a turn. And now I will discard Hold That Luster and I will reroll these two dice. And well, I hit a resource side. So he has to remove the resource side, it looks like here. And he has that ability. I should have Rebel Assaulted first to prevent that possibility from happening. That would have been smart of me. I don't want to discard more cards for no reason. He doesn't have the resources to kill me. I can just claim. 
Though I wish now I had Planetary Uprising. <laughs> Is he gonna just hard play a Crime Lord? Because he can afford to do that if he overwrites the personal shield. Nope, he's going to play a con artist. Okay, he's going to get his mill game on. Get your game on. But this is why I remove one of my hit and runs at the start of the game. I have the potential to draw it. Didn't draw it. Oh well. But I did draw Planetary Uprising, which is still good. Now I can roll out just fine. Not spending my first turn to do this, so he doesn't have the ability to he doesn't like you, even though he has no he doesn't like you's left. I rolled a 4. That's, that's okay damage. Uh, it'll feel a lot better once I start Planetary Uprising, though. Okay, he's gonna... Oops, that's E, not R. Shield. Okay. And he has his turn. Oh, he's gonna doubt. Okay. Nothing I can do with that one. Uh, let me just... Discard this and reroll these two dice. I want to keep the layer range damage. In case I roll the plus two, like I just did. So that's that's a bit better damage, you know. That's uh, that's six. I mean, maybe he should have thought that maybe I didn't want to just do four damage. Maybe I wanted to d definitely do more. But uh, okay. To return the rocket launcher. Okay. That's all his resources gone though, and because that's all of his resources gone, that means he can't um, he can't crime on me this turn. So that's that's pretty good. Could play the rocket launcher again for three. But that doesn't seem worth it when I've got Planetary Uprising in my hand. Let's just do three. He's going to do that, which means I dealt one. But I can Planetary Uprising, and so long as I can survive, uh, which I should be able to, he can blackmail me for three here, so I'll pay one to prevent that blackmailing. Oh, uh, there you go. Um... Alright, so he can still get rid of quite a bit of my hand here. Let's, let's just play the Planetary Uprising for two. And let's start a clock here. He has three turns to kill me in which I can roll zero damage. Oh no! That, that was the card he wanted to hit. Right there. That was absolutely the card he wanted to hit. Well, he's got three turns to kill me. Which is going to be very difficult if I only draw one per turn. He's going to take the three shields, so that gives him some time, of course. And then he's going to take a resource. Alright. But that means he didn't mill me more. So let's draw my one. Let's start the fight again. Alright, well, I can play down my holdout blaster and roll out in the same turn. That doesn't seem terrible to me. I won't have anything to stop the blackmail, but I do have the Rebel Assault to stop the blackmail. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Of course, when I say don't have anything, I do mean, of course, I have one resource, but I would like to potentially spend this resource on the damage. Uh, a three. A three for the damage. I mean, that's not terrible. That breaks his shields, at least. Does he have a second electroshock? He should have a second electroshock, right? He only used one? Yeah, he only used one. Sabotage, okay. Well, that slows me down. That slows me down considerably. Hmm. Well, I can focus into more damage here, but then he might have the ability to stop me. Um, he might have bluffed that part, make me get greedy for the rolls, and then I have to force myself to re-roll a bunch. So I think I will just resolve the three right there. Doesn't get to personal shield it. So, there's that. Oh, this isn't going so well for me anymore. Blanks and disrupts all around, okay. Should have paid for the black uh, mail. Because it's his choice as to which he activates first. So, yeah, okay. 
Uh, I don't want him to, you know, discard three sides there. Not got very many cards left in my deck is the problem right now. I could do one with Gorilla Warfare. Um, if I focus into the range damage so I can Rebel Assault his 2 mil. Like Gorilla Warfare it. I mean, that could work. It's just a thing that happens. Confuse the hell out of him as well. Make him go, why the hell are you doing that, Game Slayer? <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh yeah, anyway, so talking about Leia versus Snap. Alright, so Leia has three more health. Leia has a much higher chance of rolling range damage. However, Leia can't... Um... That, was, that was annoying. Well, guess I'm claiming. Do your worst. Which will be a lot. Yeah, so Leia has three more base health. Leia has... So you're, you're playing a 22 health team rather than a 19 health team, which is very significant. He's going for three shields again. Okay. And he's just going to disrupt that resource. Alright. That is fair. Alright, so I can play the rocket launcher over this holdout blaster, but then I'd have one resource left. Which wouldn't be able to stop the blackmail, potentially. So better off if I just roll right now, I think. That's what I'll do. Should have his electroshock in hand by now, though, so this is not difficult for him to just deal with. So I don't have a lot of dice. Well, okay, so I can do a, max, a minimum of two damage here. God, that is terrible. And he's discarding con artist for the prize possession. Okay. Well, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a very big problem. I need to discard and reroll, get some proper damage going off here. Four damage is better than two. One quarter portion gives me a resource. I'll pay. For the rocket launcher in that case then. Well, Always gotta worry that a crime law is coming as well. Not just what he's doing with this. I would like to pay. Rent the blackmail. He can focus into a two discard here. I can remove one of the stop one of that from happening with the rebel assault. It's a reduction of one mil in total, so I think it's worth it. So let's let's remove that. It's getting dicey though. This is getting very dicey at this point. So yeah. One dice instead of two. Doesn't have uh, Wex uh, Wexley's ability. He's gonna claim. All right. Well, this is my time if I want to discard and reroll. Uh, but then that would put all of the cards in my hand, and currently has absolutely no way of dealing with the last card in my hand. So I think I just pass. That way I leave one card in my deck. She can't deal with. All right, another awkward situation right now is uh, well, I do have two rocket launchers at this point, but I am one one resource short of playing both of them properly. I could play it over the overkill. Boop, 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 boop. Give him that. So he can definitely go for a crime lord this turn. So I've got to be very careful. Very, very careful here. Uh, discarding the overkill for the rocket launcher would give me a much higher chance of doing damage. The disrupt would be horrible though, if he just focuses to the disrupt. But that means he isn't doing anything else this turn. And at least one of these is going to roll damage. Yep, that's what I figured was going to happen. I can roll out my layer. <laughs> no. 
going to disrupt me. I'm going to have nothing left. If I claim, he can go for the Crime Lord, but he doesn't have the super high chance for it. Crime Lord me. Crime me. Phew. Okay, he doesn't have it. I have it, but here's a blindfold. <laughs> I'm gonna take it over the blackmail. Okay, taking it over the blackmail, even though he's so close to that victory. Alright, last card in my deck was something that isn't the hit and run. Was another IG8. IQ8. 88, okay. Well, with the amount of removal left in his deck, he's got another one quarter portion and stuff, so this is going to be difficult for me. So let's let's just roll out and then wait to lose. Four. That's all I've got. He can one quarter portion that. And he gets the up. There we go. That's most probably game. I'm going to resolve that 4 right now, whilst I can. Yep. Uh, actually, actually, that doesn't work. I dealt 1 range damage. He should totally be, be on 10 health right now, because I did that twice. Okay. I gotta hit a run onto the rocket onto the the other rocket launcher and killed him with that. God damn it! I could have hit and run. Oh, there's a special anyway. One damage with each of these is good. If he deals with either of these two cards though, then that's game for me. If he deals with either of these two dice, because I won't be able to guerrilla warfare for the game. There you go, it's the Electroshocks. That's a one. I need to get the two. But then if I get the two, he can shield still. And then that's game. Here's what I should. And that's game. Uh. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, so as I was saying about Leia and Snap, so Leia has three more health, has a much higher chance of rolling damage, has the focus side, has her ability, Snap has his ability, which allows him to better claim the battlefield, but how do you really care about claiming the battlefield speed when you've got wingmans and hit and runs? Well, yeah. By including Leia, you could include cards like Overkill much more effectively because they've got the modifier sides which are very difficult to activate with Baze on his own because he's only got two sides that show damage and while those cost him a resource whereas Leia has two grey sides.
Huh? Was this in there and go? Whatever. Apparently we're going again. I don't know. Alright, cool. We're going again. Yeah. More more Destiny content for you lot. I worry actually about fighting three decks with this. I deal a lot of damage, but then he could just start removing everything from me. Um but yeah, I understand that some people want to play um, a snap, because that almost guarantees the battlefield a few times. Um, because that allows you to claim the battlefield a few times, and that allows you to put in um, very blowout cards like defensive position and dug in. But response to that is basically just don't don't play those cards anyway. <laughs> like kill your opponent first, and then it doesn't matter if you about the extra three health and stuff. Leia is better, I think. She does more damage. She has the same. They both have the same amount of damage potential with the It's a Trap, but she just has more base damage, which allows, which makes it more likely that you're going to roll a, a non-modifier side. Of course, Snap requires you to deal with two dice, but still. And also, the 22 health versus the 19 health is a very big deal against someone like Poe Mars. Hit and run. I am keeping this hit and run. I am keeping. I think I can even keep Rebel Assault. I'm only getting one here. Wow, just the one. Because, yeah, I, I want to be able to hit and run right now. Five to his five. Okay, re rolling. Six to his one. Perfect. Mine. He gets the two shields, which is annoying, but he doesn't get the Emperor's Throne, which is big. I'm going to defend both of them by one. Perfect. That means more chance to hit Poe. Um, first action. Uh, I think I put the Blast Pistol on Baze. Put all, put in my bigger upgrades on Leia, but this just to make this hit and run feel a lot more powerful. Um. Of course, then he doesn't hit and run, apparently. So that confuses me. I mean, then there's no reason to hit and run, should I say. So that confuses me. Five damage going out there already. That's not bad. Then it unpredictable that three damage side. Into a blank. Okay. Now he's going to hit and run. Po. Which will allow him to activate a special if he rolls it. And he rolls. You're also the double special. He decides to resolve them with the uh, Maz's ability, which is the correct choice. But wow. That's probably shame. <laughs> like, wow. I have a problem. I have a big, big problem. <laughs> oh god. Uh, discard rearm. Roll these three dice. I need damage. Six damage, that's not as good as what he had, but I'll take it. Six damage to Poe. Base, of course, has one less health than Poe base, so it's a lot harder to deal the damage. Also, base... Also, think with this deck, uh, Baze is actually better in this deck than um, than Poe because of the plus two, uh, which synergizes better with Leia versus um, alright. Uh, I lost one resource because I had to pay for the blast pistol side. 
Uh, second blaster pistol, that's nice. I can hit and run again. Um, which will be useful for getting rid of his specials, cause, unless he rolls both of them again. He has five resources as well. Three and a one disrupt. Okay, well, the three damage is enough to kill base. Um, so there's nothing I can do about that, so I better just hit and run and just get as much out of base as possible. Please be good. That's good! That's, that's seven. That's seven right there. The comeback is real. That's, that's a dead Poe. Wow. Baze. A.K.A. Django Fett over here. Pocaster for four <laughs> comes down on Mars. Okay, so Baze is still gonna die, but you know, at least I got that to work. But wow, <laughs> that's probably game. Second turn, kill Po. The fragility of life. But there's the focus that can go into the. Four damage, which can kill the boat, the bears. That's the plate, last pistol in the grave, which then I'll rearm the last pistol. Uh, that dice is rolling hot, so I'll get rid of this one. I'll let him claim the battlefield once more. Focus into the special. Okay. It will get rid of my Rebel Assault. But that's okay. Come on, blast pistols. Okay, well I rolled two range damage on Leia. Get rid of the, that one, sure. And well, I can afford to go for the reroll here. Because he's going to be able to claim next turn anyway. While I get as much damage as possible out on this map. No, okay, never mind. Could have used Leia's ability to reroll there, but that would have been stupid because the maximum I could have got out of that was three. And I already had two showing. There's the other hit and run. Uh, Planetary Assault as well. That's a very interesting card, considering. But he can still activate before me, pretty much. And there's a dug in. And this is the problem, of course. This deck doesn't run any of the battlefield cards just in case it runs up against a, against a, mir a near mirror, against a base now. You know, I wanted to differentiate this deck a bit. Uh, let's hit and run again. Gonna go for my 6-ish damage. Hopefully 6 damage. It's maximum 6 damage. Uh, okay. That was not 6 damage. That was not 6 damage at all. So I'm gonna discard Wingman and reroll all 3 of these dice. 4. Okay, that's good if he doesn't have an Electroshock. That's the other thing, right? Poe Mars, you're able to... To do a lot of removal. Can't do removal with uh, Poe. Uh, can't do much removal with Leia Bays. They don't have any. Apart from cards like Defensive Position, which is an amazing d removal card. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like it's lost a lot of power. It's not that good against Poe Mars, is the big thing. And it's not good against Raidex either, so. She can activate three things here, so she can bowcaster for four once once more. For one. And then she can activate another one range damage. Why does Mars have a range damage side? It's ridiculous. Just ouch, the sheer amount of damage that can be dealt to a character here is high. A resource. Well, I can logistics for that. Can't hit and run this though anymore. Because I used them both. So this is most probably a, a game over. Because Mars can go for the kill here. Mm -hmm. And pay my three for rocket launcher here. Fortunately, Leia is not as good as Mars at getting the job done a lot of the time. So, close though. There's a field medic which would save my life if I could play it, but I can't. My opponent gets three. My opponent somehow has to not roll a single focus here. 
He's got a pretty good chance of rolling the focuses, though. He didn't roll the focus, but he rolled four range damage, which kills me. <sighs> yeah, both have field medics, but. Combat was real, but. Uh... Bowcaster is an odd addition. It's not something you expect to see in a uh, post snap a lot of the time, but it makes a lot of sense, you know. It's a special for full range damage. Uh, it's the equivalent of a rocket launcher. It's a good card to have. And of course, if I did end up rolling a, um, it's a trap, I could have done pretty well that game. Um, I rolled really well with base that turn, though. Really well with base there. Yeah. I still don't think this deck is good enough to beat post uh, po po Maz. Um, but it's good. You know, it's got its advantages. Now he's going to run a Palpatine against it. Alright. But that's... The thing is though, It's a Trap can make all the difference. Maybe I should have just really hard mulligan for It's a Trap. I shouldn't have bothered for the, with the Rebel Assault, um, with the Rebel Assault, uh, hit and run combo. It was a good idea, but in reality, my opponent's just gonna hit and run into double pos, double <laughs> post specials. I'm not sure how much I can complain about that. My god roll did 7 damage. His god roll did 10. I used 3 dice to his 2. You know, eh, I'm allowed to complain, I think. Okay, Wingman at the start is brilliant. This trap is brilliant. Don't really want to activate it immediately, though. Uh, I'll keep the logistics. I'll uh, go for a build up turn and then for a turn to massive its trap. So I need, a, I need something to play this turn. Nope, did not get a upgrade to play this turn. That's unfortunate. A dice upgrade, I should say. Four. This is two. Um, I'm giving him the health so I can take the shields. But here I've got a lot more health to play with compared to a base snap, right? A base snap would win the battlefield every turn, but how much will that accomplish? Not necessarily a lot. That's three range damage right there off the bat. That's pretty insane. Um, that's wingman layer. So. Can't complain about the 3 damage though. That's perfectly normal for a Palpatine. Uh, that's just people connecting and disconnecting. Got it. Alright. Ah, uh, 4 damage. I'll take it. Oh, okay, he's going to isolate. It's going to force me to discard to reroll, and since I'm discarding to reroll, he's going to be able to discard the rest of my deck, the rest of my hand. Hopefully, hopefully the Yet's Trap is what stays. Alright, a resource. This, ah, three range damage. Ow. Well, I can logistics the resource, I guess. I lost the field medic, I got dealt. Two extra damage. I lost the It's a Trap, that's the huge deal right there. But I get to claim the battlefield at least. And remove one of those health points. Which will allow me to start. And I have six resources to play with at the start of this next turn. There's a, a hit and run. Let's go hold out blaster. DH17. For three resources. Let's start just building it up. Force Illusion comes down. Unfortunately, I don't have a hit and is a trap anymore. I've, I've already mentioned that. I don't know why I'm mentioning that again. Let's promote Leia. She, she deserves it. She deserves that promotion. There's an overkill. Hmm. I've got a lot of cards here with, down, with that cost a resource to play the damage sides, but I'm going to still play this overkill here. Yeah. We're going to do a lot of damage, baby. <laughs> Uh, 
And Puppet Tail from Palpatine doesn't roll it. Uh, okay, four shields. It's gonna be a problem, I guess. Uh, he can. I'm gonna allow him to mitigate if he wants. I don't have resources to resolve resource sides, so I'd rather keep the hit and run for when I can. And wow, I rolled no damage with that. Whole lot of nothing. He gets to do two damage. I'll throw it into Leia. Discard Wingman. Reroll. Um, I think I'll keep. Uh, no, because of the modifier size, I'm gonna roll Leia again because Leia has a good chance of rolling what I need, which is that one range damage. But I also rolled one range damage right there. So now I can split this up as a five and a four, and he can only force illusion. Some of that. Okay. I lose the lowest. Perfect. But now he gets to force illusion a lot here. So. Resolve this. Still lose the first two shields, I think. Not sure. There was a huge discussion about it. Alright, so he loses the two shields and then he takes... Uh, so, seven off the top. This is a lot of cards he could lose here. A deflect! Awesome! Full throw? Okay. Mind probe, good to lose, good to get rid of. The other mind probe, nice. Yeah, the other force throw, nice. Getting rid of all this damage. Trust your instincts, good to get rid of. And I feel your anger, nice. Okay, some good, good knocks off there. Didn't get any no mercies though. Did not get a no mercy. Uh, okay. Uh, he still hasn't taken any damage, so uh, taking the battlefield is not that great for him. So I can afford to take this resource and the shield. I've dealt zero damage so far. There's my other hit and run, nice. And also, uh, the... Let me slide this dice, Alright, and also the IQA. And the rocket launcher, but of course, down for resources for those. Okay, lure of power comes out for two. It's fine by me. Uh, I think I might overwrite the holdout blaster with the rocket launcher here. Um, oops, uh, move that back. There we go. Rocket launcher has a great chance for its for base sides, and I've got quite a few modifiers on the board right now. I can hit and run one, that two, those two I could rebel assault those two shields if I wanted to. Let's hit and run this. Go in with my seven dice, or is it eight dice? Three. Uh, hold that blaster shouldn't exist. That was the problem. That was the problem. My accounting right there. All right, let's do this. Seven dice. I got a four. Uh, I'm gonna rebel assault. That shield side. You don't lose the, the other two, but the other hit and run and the IQA. And I'm not going to be able to reroll. And I'm going to take two damage. I'm going to be able to do four at least. Uh, wait. Uh, wait. Never mind. Leia has an ability! I'm gonna use Leia's ability to reroll this dice and this dice. Hallelujah! 
The odds were heavily in my favor. I don't half a chance and then a good chance. God damn it. One damage. One damage this turn. And one shield. I have not done damage this game. Wow. Talk about some bad rolls here, guys. It's not creating extra shit. I mean, come on, this, these were, those were bad rolls, right? We, we can't say anything else. There's my Issa Trap, but of course I don't have a hit and run. Wow. Okay, he did not, he resolved, he got resources. Um, this is good for me. This means uh, I can, I could uh, rearm here, but if I go for an Issa Trap play, I can kill him in one turn. If he res goes to the three range side. If he gets onto the two or three range side, I can kill him at one turn. Uh, don't need to if I roll like that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage right there. Come on, give me, give me a range side. Give me a range side, Palpatine. None of them are blanks for another feel your anger. You can remove with isolation. Mm. It's gonna high ground, which doesn't. It wasn't a character dice, so it doesn't take one damage as a result. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I just do my eight, but first I will rebel assault. I will rebel assault, and I will rebel assault all that Palpatine dice. Again, I'm tempting him into changing to the three. Mm, takes your resource instead, and does two damage. Well, uh, I could. It's it's a trapped double focus. Me an extra two damage is not worth it. I don't think. Let's just do this then. Nine damage. Yep. Some good damage right there. He heals one. Uh, then I take a resource. I play a rearm. And I put the IQA. The base for two. Then I discard the IQA for a rocket launcher, saving me one resource in total. Don't have a hit and run though. Let me sort out this dice pool here. Phase has literally everything right now. Phase dies, this is over. But you know. And he's gonna rise again. That's fine by me. Because I will it's a trap and kill him as soon as he uh, as soon as he rolls off range damage. So go right ahead, rise again, act like you're so high and mighty, and I will one shot you. Thirteen damage is nothing to these dice. And I just rolled seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage right there. Prevent this or you're dead. <laughs> oh, he's going to force illusion. Oh, he's going to force illusion. Don't really want to resolve all that though. Um, how wait? How could I split this? I could split this into four, and then four and two and two. Uh, so I would do six, eight damage to him. Uh, um, that would put him, and then though, and then a hit and run with these two would still kill him. So yeah, this is how I'm going to resolve it. 
uh, you can resolve it like this. It's going to prevent the four. I lose two resources off of this. Lower power. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now roll range damage for me to win. He does not roll range damage for me to win. Well, I have a free to action to field medic. Well, that wouldn't win then. If I field medic right now, I don't win because I have to. It's a trap. If I planetary uprising right now, he takes two shields, does two damage, then I claim. Then next turn, I'm set up. Uh. Yeah, that's all I'll do. I'll play Planetary Uprising for two. So now, now he's going to reroll. And if he rerolls into six damage, I'm dead. Okay. Did I claim? I'm going to remove one now he's from base. Uh, sure. I will, uh, five, uh, three, six, yeah. Put her down to two, so that she is vulnerable. Because Baze is the only one I need to live right now. She's going to trust your instincts. He's going to have some good re-rolling going off here. But he has not rolling range damage. Which I don't want him to at this point, so that's fine by me, but still. There's the three. There's four damage he can do. Okay, kills Leia. There's two here. Which is surprising that he decided to do that. Um... Very surprising he decided to do that, simply because if he'd thrown 3 into Baze here, I, I couldn't take the 2 damage on Baze because that would put me to 1 HP and then the Force Illusion would have killed me. Uh, force uh, Throw would have killed me. I'm surprised he did that. Get 2 resources, there we go. My first action is going to be to roll out Baze. Four blanks! If he has the second feel your anger, if he has this feel your anger here, I'm fucked. Wow. I aim to roll like shit. So, have that in my hand for four turns. You never roll damage. But if just one of those hadn't been a blank. Just one of those hadn't been a blank. Well, well, two actually. Over. Oh wow! What the hell? That was so clearly my game to win, and then wow. 
I'm saying that False illusion. I had enough dice to insta give him like rolled damage. And you just never did. Rise again. God damn it! <laughs> Phase layer, you're actually a good deck, but wasn't this just three losses? And then I rolled four blanks. Whoopsie. Where was my second planetary rising? I was bombing my deck. He had both his no mercies. I figured he'd have a no mercy. God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, well, guys, this will be me, Games Layer 99, aka No Rainer. I think Lay is better than Snap. Can't exactly prove it, though, without, with the fact that I'm not winning. But I, I understand some people are going to value the battlefield a lot here. They're going to value the digging, they're going to value the defense position. But at the end of the day, I think that this is still worth more. So, we meet games like 99, aka no brainer. Sign it off.